Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. We have a beginner Pilates class. It's a perfect one if you are new to Pilates. So come along and join me on the mat. We're going to start with some breathing exercises. So let's go ahead and sit down on our mat. And this is my little friend. Her name is Boki. She's going to be my assistant today. Aren't you Boki? Good girl. All right, so let's find ourselves seated. We're going to start the class with some breathing. Okay, so find your utmost tallest upright alignment. You may cross your leg. You may even have your leg in a diamond position. I'll leave that to you. So take an inhale from the nose and exhale from the mouth. Now I want you to, as you inhale, I want you to rise and elevate your shoulders up. Exhale. Let them drop. Inhale. Shoulder comes along with you. Exhale. They lower down. In breath. Exhale. Two more. Last. Now I want you to keep them down and place your hands on your belly. Now this time, as you inhale, focus on the expansion of the rib cage and a slight expansion of your belly into your hands. So we're doing a diaphragmatic breathing and the shoulder should ideally stay down. So we inhale through the nose. Then as you exhale, you feel the belly retracting away from your hands and the rib cage deflating inwards. In breath. Exhale. So bring your focus and attention to this area here. Expanding the ribcage sideways, frontal and backward. Then see if you can breathe a little longer. And few more. Now this time, as you exhale, I want you to deliberately, right at the end of your breath, contract your abdominal muscles. So you're feeling like you're wearing that natural corset. So you're engaging the deep TBA muscle, the transverse abdominis. It's a natural corset around the waistline. In breath. and draw in that natural corset. So you feel that arm is rather tight right at the end. Two more. And the last one here. And the next breath cycle, I want you to hug the abdominal in. So your TPA muscle, your natural corset is working. Now here, as you inhale, do not allow the abdominal to expand. We're going to do some lateral breathing. So as we inhale, the abdominal stays in and the air that you breathe in is going to expand the rib cage more outwards. Exhale. The rib cage closes. The belly stays in as you inhale. So it's active. Exhale. And just play around with the expansion of the rib cage outward and the deflation of the rib cage inward while keeping your abdominal muscles engaged. Corset is nice and switched on. Two more times. Last. And just let it go. Okay, well done. Now let's move on to our mat. So go ahead and lie on our back like Boki is doing. But we're going to be on our back. She's on her front. 
Okay, so we find ourselves in a comfortable position. I want your feet to be aligned with the sitting bone. So parallel position, hip width distance apart, approximately about a first, more or less, between your heels. Your knees are pointing up to the sky. Your arms are long by the side and your spine in a somewhat comfortable position for you today. Okay, so from here, take an in breath. Let's do some lateral breathing. Then as you exhale, I want you to deliberately draw in that TVA muscles, that natural corset of yours, and then you're going to go ahead and continue deepening, deepening the abdominal and rock the pelvis. So your pelvis is now curling upward. Your bottoms are off the floor. It's off the floor. You only have one bottom. And then come back down as you in-breath. And as you exhale, Corset, then a little deeper, imprint the lower back and curl the pelvis up. And release back to your start position. Exhale. So this is some pelvic rocks. Inhale, return back. Exhale. Inhale, return back. And last two is just like a little massage for the spine, a massage for the lower back here. Mobilizing that area. Last one. In breath, return back. Taking on further to our pelvic curl, we start the same way. We curl the pelvis. Now we continue rolling the spine off vertebra by vertebra, engage the hamstring, the muscles behind the thigh, and continue peeling the spine off. The abdominal is still pretty engaged towards the spine. So you should feel the hamstring, the muscle behind the thigh, working the glutes to finish up the height of the pelvis, the arm muscle to be able to press the chest a little higher, and the abs is to control the spine from hyperextend extending excuse me breath out and we roll the spine down articulating vertebrae by vertebra and release back to your start position in breath and exhale abs more abs more abs then the abs are working the hamstring kicks on articulate all the way up to your bridge Taking care that you don't splat the ribs out, keeping the ribs intact and connected to your pelvis and exhale, roll it down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Again, a little massage the spine with this exercise. So again, two more in breath. Exhale, abdominal, abdominal, then continue abdominal still on and articulate up the hamstring kicks on, the glutes working, your arms are active, the necks reaching away from the shoulders, in breath, exhale, we roll it down, articulating, imprinting every single bone on the spinal column one by one back to your start position, last one here. Breath out, we roll up, in breath, exhale, we roll down, we roll back, we roll back, we roll back and we come back to your start position. Now stay in this position, I want you to dorsiflex your feet, meaning the heels are digging into the floor, the toes and the arch lift off the floor and lower back down and plantar flex meaning the heels come up like as though you're wearing a high heel shoe i like you to spread the ball of your feet evenly on the floor as you lift the heels up and lower the heels down dorsiflex toes arch of the feet off the floor and back plantar flex heels are up spread the balls of your feet on the floor and down again dorsiflex your center girdle is nice and stable and lower and heels are up spreading your toes down to the floor last one dorsiflex and lower plantar flex heels up little high heel shoes here and lower 
Okay, moving on to the next one. I'd like you to then draw in your TVA muscle, your natural corset, wrap it in. Then go ahead, lift the right leg up to a tabletop position without disturbing the placement of the pelvis and the lower back. The thigh should be high about vertical alignment to the hip joint and the shins about parallel to the floor. Then we lower the leg down from the hip joint. We exhale. We lower. We exhale. The movement comes from the hip socket. The angle of the knee should stay constant. And lower. Exhale. In breath, so we want to activate the lower abdominal. So we don't shift the pelvis as you lift and lower the leg up. So we're looking at stability here. One more. Exhale, now we stay. Now extend the knee up, flex the foot. We bend, exhale, we stretch, flex the foot, we fold. And exhale, as we extend the knee, I want it to focus on drawing the abdominal in towards the spine. And so none of the belly sticking out as you extend the leg. Instead of the other way around, belly sinking in as you extend the leg to protect the lower spine. And one last here, extend, we stay. Now extend the other leg down on the floor to slide it out. Hold that center. Let's go into leg circle. Stabilize the pelvis. Bring the leg across the body. Down, stay in parallel and around. Exhale. One round. Inhale. One round. Now you don't have to make a big circle, but what I'm looking here, I want you to look at or think about your stability in the pelvis. Inhale across and exhale across. One more. Inhale across. And exhale across, we stay the other way. Out, down, across, in breath. Exhale. And in breath. Exhale. So if you look at the ceiling, you are drawing circle with the sole of your foot. And an in breath. And an exhale. And an in breath. And an exhale. Last set, in breath. And an exhale. We stay, we bend the knee. We lower the leg down, we bring the other leg in, and we reset. All right, we got the other leg. We exhale, TVA, corset in, then we lift the leg up. Movement from the hip joint for the leg lifted and down on an inhale. Exhale, inhale, we go down. Exhale, so imagine you have a cup of tea resting on the front of your pelvis. You shouldn't be spilling the cup of tea when you lower and lift the leg. Exhale, last one, and we stay up. Now we extend the leg up, flex, we fall. Exhale, flex, we fall. Belly sink in as you extend the leg, in breath. In breath, two more, in breath. Last one, we stay. Stretch, 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 and extend the other leg down on the floor. Leg circle across the body, down and around. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Watch for the pelvis stability. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last set. Inhale. Reverse. Out, down. Exhale, in breath, exhale, inhale, exhale, last set, exhale, we stay, we bend the knee, we hold the leg up, we bring the other leg in, a little plantar flex on the leg on the floor, support the center as we breathe out, we switch, leg changes, we switch, it's really super important as you breathe that you really hold the pressure of the abdominal inward. So don't let the belly push us out because we want to support that lower spine. And allow the gravity pull the abdominal muscle down to the floor. 
movement from the hip joint, lift the knee bone alone. So I'm going to keep the angle of the knee constant at all time. One more each side. Both legs are up to tabletop. Squeeze the legs together like you're wearing a pencil skirt. Open your arms up to the side in a T position. Spine twist supine. Now let's rotate to me from the waist as you inhale. Keep the legs together. Exhale, return back to center. From the waistline, we rotate. Thigh stays together, knee stays together. Exhale. So it's not, it's not really quite a stretch, but it's more an activation of the oblique muscles, which is those beautiful line muscles on the side of your waist. And again, we're looking for control here. Exhale. Shoulders are anchored down to the floor. Your arms are also anchored down to the floor. One more each side. Last. Beautiful. Okay, lower one leg down, second leg down. Keep them slightly apart, interlacing the hands at the lower end of the skull, underneath the head. Elbows can come off a little bit here. So we're moving on to our chest lift here. Take an in breath. As we exhale, we're going to sink that belly in. Then we're going to flex up or lift up from the lower rib cage. So we slide the lower rib cage and we fold the chest up to a chest lift position. We inhale, we stay. We exhale, we maintain the abdominal contraction as you lower the chest down. We exhale, abs in, slide the ribs and we fall up. Allow your head to be somewhat heavy into your hands. In breath, hold. Exhale, we come down. Exhale, we fall. Inhale, we hold. Exhale, we come down. Two more. Exhale, we fall. Inhale, hold. Exhale, come down. One last. In breath. Exhale, come down. Well done. Now I want you to take the left arm up, the arm away from me up to the sky. We're going to add some rotation here. So we breathe in. As we exhale, we're going to bring the left arm across to the outside of your right thigh. So we are rotating from the waist and we're going to curl forward in diagonal position. Both shoulder blades are off the floor. And in breath, exhale, come down. We use the same breathing pattern here. In breath, exhale, we slice across. We'll lift. Inhale, reach and lift higher. Exhale, come down. In breath. Exhale, across. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Two more. One more. Across. And we'll switch. Okay, so we, I have my right arm up here. And I exhale, I go across to the outside of my left thigh. My both shoulder blades are off the floor. In breath, hold. Exhale, come down. Exhale, lift. In breath. Up a little higher, perhaps. And exhale, come down. Exhale, lift. In breath. And exhale, come down. Two more sets. Last one. Exhale, lift. Now I want you to lift up a little higher than inhale. Inhale, lift up more. Exhale, come back down. Good. Both arms are up to the sky. Lift one leg up to the tabletop. Second, hold the abdominal. Second leg up, joining. Squeeze in the inner thigh, turn the palms towards your knee. Then we take the arms overhead without lifting the rib cage. So I want you to 
contract or engage the upper abdominal and keep the rib cage downward towards the pelvis. Now, moving on to a hundredth breath, the arms float up and then lift in the chest and come up into the chest lift, the arms along by the side. We inhale, the arms float up, followed by the chest down and the head down and the arms come through over the head. In, up and up. And in breath and over and exhale, lift. Inhale, arms, chest, head down. Two more, exhale and lift and back down. Last one and lift and back down. Hold that. Lower one foot down, second leg down. I want you to walk your feet away from your bottom. So greater angle at the knee. Squeezing the thighs together. We're going to do some roll-ups here. Turn the palms face each other. Now, arms up, chest lift. This is a knee inhale. You may grab the back of your thigh if you need to. Otherwise, deep curl in the abs. Lift up and go into the C curve. Oh, my little assistant is falling asleep. And in breath, we hold. Now exhale, so we maintain that C curve in the spine. We're going to move from the hip joint. So we're gonna roll the pelvis back, find your chest lift position, then take the arms, come back to your start position. I'm just gonna shuffle myself here. So we're gonna inhale, arms up, Pull up at the chest lift here. You may grab the back of your thighs, otherwise, exhale, curl the abs a little bit more, and then we'll lift from the hip joint. Keep that spine in that C curve here. And I want your head to be lengthening away from the shoulder. In breath. Exhale, roll back from the sacrum, lower back touches the floor, and the arms go overhead. Again, inhale, chest lift. Exhale, sink the belly and you may tuck the pelvis up a little bit. Then you lift the spine up from the hip joint, go into that C curve, in breath. We maintain the spine length, maybe you can grow even taller. And then roll down, roll back, roll back. And then if you want to, you may straighten the legs. Otherwise, you just keep the legs bent. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dig deep into the abs. Then you bring yourself into that C curve. Inhale, we hold. Exhale, we roll back. Let's do one more time like this. Again, you can have your legs straight or just keep them bent. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl up and over into that C curve. In breath. Exhale, we roll back. And we'll take the arms overhead. Now we're going to do one last one just to finish up in sitting position. Into the chest lift. And curl up and over into the C curve. Now we maintain that C curve. I want you to bend the knees if you have your knees straight. Grab the shin nearer to the ankle. All right, pointy feet. Moving to our rolling like a ball. We float the feet off. I want you to use the arm muscle to lock the shape here, okay? So maintain that C curve. We're going to roll back on your inhale. The bottom comes off and exhale, you come up and balance. Now, think about the properties of a ball. Everything is a round shape. So try not to flatten the back as you roll back. So your bottom is gonna come off. But keep your head off the floor too. And exhale, back. Inhale, exhale, come back. And hopefully we can balance. In breath, exhale, balance. Three more. In breath, exhale, balance. Two more. In breath, last one. In breath, and balance. And let's take the feet down. I want to straighten the leg here. Straight leg, straight leg. Reach your arms up to the sky. Now try to get the longest position ever in this L shape. Extend the arms, lengthen the spine, lengthen the legs, holding at center for five, four, three, two, one. 
flex the feet, dorsiflex opens, excuse me, bulky, not. <laughs> I'll move myself. And have your feet slightly wider than your pelvis, perhaps shoulder width apart and take your arms forward. Moving to our spine stretch, take an in breath. Exhale, we roll the spine down and forward. Inhale, we pause there. Exhale, we roll back and start stacking up the spine to your start position. And exhale, we roll down. And just forward at the end as you in breath. Exhale, use your abdominal to roll back up and upright. Two more times. Exhale, roll down. In breath. Exhale, roll up and up tall. Last one. Exhale, roll down in breath. Exhale, roll up and up tall. Interlace the hands in the back of your head. Rest your head into your hands. And I want you to bring your legs into a diamond position here. Now maintain that beautiful upright alignment. From here, rotate to me, double breath out. The pelvis is anchored down to the floor. So there shouldn't be any movement in the legs. In breath. Initiate the rotation from the waistline, just above the pelvis. Okay, exhale. The body moves as one unit. The legs stay down and center and center. Two more sets and center. Last set. Last one and center and release that. Let go onto our quadruped. So a table-like position, align the shoulder and your wrist on both sides, your knee and center of the hip here. The spine is nice and long. Now push away slightly from, away from the floor and I want you to draw in the abdominal and try to honor your natural curve, your neutral spine. Now, take an in-breath here. As you exhale, draw in your corset muscle towards the spine without rounding the back. So just imagine there is also another floor or a wall or ceiling above your back. So I want you to draw in your center so that your back could be as straight as the ceiling. And I'll let it go. Exhale. Inhale, let it go. Now I want to tuck the toes under here. Exhale, go ahead and draw in that corset muscle. Strong abdominal. And then float the knees off like you are doing a plank. This is a modified plank position here. And we're just going to stay here for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release down one more time. My assistant seems a little tired today. Aren't you, Boki? Take an in breath. Exhale, we draw in the TVA. We float the knees. We stay for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, now I want you to walk your knees a little closer towards your hands. So your pelvis and your knees are no longer aligned here. So you're slightly in a diagonal position, so like a modified cat. Now, from here, we're gonna round the back for a modified cat. We're gonna curl the spine. We're gonna round your spine and your gaze is gonna be towards your feet. And then unravel the spine. Take the upper spine towards an upward arch or extension. And exhale, 
to your round back and then through a neutral through flat back continue the upper back to an upper arch exhale to a round back and then through neutral and upper back arch one more exhale round through neutral and upper back arch and release all right let's go on to our front <laughs> let's take your arms long by the side hi okay okay so arms long by the side here feet legs together ideally i want you to have your arms pressing gently to your thighs and lift the lower abdominals so think about drawing your pubic bone towards the floor and then from here we're going to inhale glide your arms down lift the upper back and your neck should be aligned with the spine your arms are working here and come down inhale energy downward through the arms and downward to your back from the upper back to lower back and forward and up through the front of the chest and exhale down again in breath we love exhale we go down in breath we lift exhale we go down last one lift 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 exhale we go down bend the elbows bring your forearm on the floor press the forearm down pull the abdominal sit the pelvis back to rest position and then go ahead and roll the spine up and last but not least modified back support to wrap the class we have the feet parallel again we bend the knees we have our arms slightly behind your pelvis your feet, with your fingers pointing to your feet or if you really need to you can go outward to the side engage your back muscle here and your abdominal now from here press the feet lift the pelvis press up to a table like position we fall through the hips we send the pelvis down again we come up we lift we fall in breath we come up we lift and then fall through the hip now just touching imagine you have a ruler in your spine so there is no rounding of the back as you come up just literally press up in your pelvis in the hip joint to bring your whole pelvis into that horizontal position and then folding through the hips as you take the bottom down two more press up and folding through the hip i'm my arms are still working pushing myself away off the floor here last one press up and folding 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 and final sit the pelvis down just open the knees out to the side have your back upright we're going to finish with some breathing so just your diaphragmatic breathing hands on your belly you may close your eyes if you wish to inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth as you inhale feeling the expansion of the rib cage and your belly into your hand try to breathe longer than what you did at the start of the class exhale feeling the deflation of the ribs away from the hands and the contraction of the rib cage feeling the deflation of the belly up i beg your pardon again inhale rib cage expansion and there is a little belly expansion to your hands exhale the belly drawing away the rib cage drawing inward two more so this is just your natural diaphragmatic breathing with a little bit of the the liberation of the abdominal contraction at the end but i just want you to observe your breath here can you actually breathe longer than what you did at the start of the class do you find it easier to focus on that area 
We go one more time, and then we're going to do our lateral breathing. So with the lateral breathing, the abdominal is inward, okay? We do not want the belly to push us out. Now, as you inhale, you focus on the expansion of the ribcage sideways, and that a slight elevation of the ribcage outward to create space for the lungs expansion. Exhale, you deflate the ribcage. Again, challenge yourself to find more space in your ribcage, more, <clears throat> more expansion in the lungs. Basically, more movement around the ribcage area on the inhalation and on the exhalation by keeping the abdominal nice and contracted. Two more. Again, observe. Is it easier? Can you comprehend a little bit better? One more. Then let it go. Open your eyes. Arms long by the side, just in front of you. One roll down for me. Exhale, we just allow the spine to wheel down to the floor. All the way down, in breath. And as you exhale, the natural lift of the abdominal, bring the spine to your upright position. And let that go. Hey, thank you. And well done for completing the whole class with me today. I hope you had a lovely class. And if you find it challenging to breathe just yet, I'd like you to practice that daily. Practice your natural diaphragmatic breathing and practice the lateral breathing, which is also known as the active diaphragmatic breathing. Okay, I wish you a lovely day and I hope to see you on the mat again tomorrow. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels, as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.